Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching series of video. Today we will make this tab selective uh, effect, tab selection effect in Unreal Engine material. So when I'm using this, I can change this to another and that becomes bigger. We can also change the color if you want, any color. And there are lots of things we can change here. You can see the list of parameter. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I'll just right click, make a material and tabs. On a planner and on uh, unlit material. So as you know, we have a like a already a function to make a shape like this, uh, round rectangles. Okay, and it has these cool curves, corner, rounded corner, and we make can make the size uh, smaller. Maybe I'll make it point seven. And this point five. Okay, so now let it compile first. Okay, now the corners are uh, like cutting here, so you can reduce the corner size maybe point zero five. So we have this one. Now we want to repeat it, and we can repeat it by duplicating this multiple times, or we can just take a texture coordinate, multiply, and take a frac. And this multiply will uh, give us like how num how many numbers you want. Like currently it's one, so it will be remain one. But if you make it two, it will be two by two, like this. But we all just want a vertically. So I'll take two vector, and on x it will be one, and on y it will be like four. Okay, now we can change the size of this height, maybe point two. I think we can make this also one five, and also call uh, it's too much actually. Uh, point seven is enough. Maybe point five this, and corners maybe. Default corner is point one two. So point one two output. Or maybe 0.5. It's too much. Let me make a parameter for this. So this is corner, and I'll just save it. And now in the instance, we can see how much value we need. So now I can just directly make them. So you can make this like this much and this and little round corners maybe this much so we have this now what i'll do uh, let's uh, create the edge of these so how you do that is a sharpness if i make this a parameter so let's let it be zero for now so now you can see with this we can make these sharp or faded and then what I'll do, if I'll take the sign, you can see the edge and how much we want, let me decide. So now by default gives you edge, I think this much and you can see this. Maybe this much. Cool. Now the next thing is uh, I want some lines from there. So what I'll do, I'll make texture coordinates. Let's see. I'll take the green channel. 
and then to make the multiple lines I will multiply and then take the frac again maybe 50 so we will have 50 lines or maybe 20 we can decide it later later then I'll take the step and just use and this will be lines thickness and lines number of lines actually 20 so this will be and we will uh, add it on it so first we need to uh, multiply these lines with the full shape and then multiply how much brightness we need in the lines so let's say lines opacity and then we will add and let me show you how it will work so opacity is zero and let's make it one for now and there's a thickness and there's a number of lines like this thickness okay so you have this uh, i think we can change the size so it will be good and then this is the opacity we can reduce maybe this much we need 0 0.05 like this then I'll just multiply this whole with a color uh, make a parameter color and I'll make this maybe by default blue so for now it's done now we have to select these and I'll do one more thing and we, we can also do one more thing like we can invert this if I invert this we will have something like this and then we can use power and then multiply it uh, with this again so basically with this power uh, let me show you how it will work so if I add again on it before color and now with this power let's call it power and by default one save so now with that power I can add this thing Number of lines I think we need to increase. Yeah. This much. Yeah. Now we have to select. So that's a simple thing to do. We have to like I'll use the texture coordinates. If C I'll take this. Okay, then I will add. This will be our select. then take a frac and stab and because these are 4 so 0.25 in the stab let's add it on it so we can see how it's working or not working then decide so we have this and one is selected and with this second selected and third selected so we want to uh, snap these on these so what I'll do here what these are for I will divide by 0.25 and then round and then multiply by 0.25 but I'm uh, guessing there will be some issue because they are not aligned properly let me just save so this is selected and now yeah it's working fine actually okay so now we have these and what i want is uh, i don't want to add it i want to use it as a lerp that's saturated and what i want take a lerp where is black it should be the same color and where is white i have different value of this color 
So I'll call it select value. Let's make it 5.0. Now, and with this select, we can select. Cool. I think we can also do something like let's play with this I don't know how it will look but let's play with this so we have this number of lines and let's use alert and use the same select thing where is black number of lines same and where is white I'll call it line selected um, by default same 2020 but let's see if it will work so now you can see it's 20 selected and it's 80 so you can change this or increase or decrease this let's use this much maybe and we can switch okay so there are lots of things you can do you can play with this uh, you can animate this lots of things you can do okay so what else we should do actually uh, let's also not that much of brightness maybe this much so there's a dimension there's a size so i'll do a lerp again this i'll take the same node from here and i will multiply it so we can make size selected use that alpha and you can do whatever you want to do by default is one and now we can make it bigger or smaller let's make it bigger so we can switch between these so i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning bye bye